Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. Today on the agenda, we have Angelo's birthday, and that is today, the 28th. And uh, that is why the bazaar is delayed until Sunday. And tomorrow, bazaar day, we are going to be selling a lot of jewelry. Actually, uh, it's actually pretty, pretty nutty how much money we're going to make from it. Yes, I did actually go and check before the stream. And we've got a lot of jewelry to sell, and it's all worth a lot of money. And, uh, I believe that it's going to make it our best bazaar yet. And then, there's not really much going on on Monday. We may or may not... Uh, go ahead and do the uh, New Year's Eve festival thing. Sorry, I'm a little razzle-frazzle right now in my brain. But we may or may not do that this episode, or that may actually be the start of next episode. It kind of depends on how things go. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and play with our doggos a bit. And, uh, then head into town, get Angelo his birthday gift, all that kind of stuff. I should point out that this is going to be the last bazaar of this year, and so next week's bazaar, we're going to have our first opportunity to pick up Jersey Cows, Suffolk Sheep, and Silky Chickens. And so we're going to want to be saving quite a bit of our profits from this bazaar for the next bazaar. Just because, well, we're not going to have a whole lot of profits next bazaar. Hey, Angelo. Oh, good morning. I'm way sleepy in the morning. I didn't really wake up until noon. Yes, yes, we are aware that you are an artist. Here, have an egg for your birthday. Oh, you remembered my birthday. I'm so happy. Thank you very much. Hurry, how's work going? I mean, it's winter, so it's going slow. Not much is happening, but actually, I shouldn't say that because that's right. We're we're jewelers now. We're not we're not farmers. We're jewelers. Hello there, eh? Feel free to ask me any questions. All right. Hello. Is that cake? Welcome to Zephyr Cafe. Yeah. Well, you know, we've had cookies with our tea quite a bit lately, so let's have some cake with our tea. Just a plain old vanilla cake. Doesn't seem like it's got any frosting, but you know what? That's fine. Cake is not... Cake is not a vehicle for frosting. If it's not good on its own, it's not a very good cake. Mmm. But Joan certainly knows how to make a good cake. Oh, speaking of, that's right. We're making friends with Marion and, and Joan now. It's a keeper thing. Um, wait, what? Why do we only have one three and a half star? Oh, the Tau Trio! Oh my, is this for me? I'm so happy, thank you all. The Tau Trio is finally up to four stars. Well, except for one of them. Actually, let's go see if dialogue... Hi, Ray. Good to see you. Have a seat and relax. Oh, Ray, how's the farm doing? If you're tired, relax here with a cup of tea. Oh, that's right. So they're... I forgot. That doesn't count as their house. Go. And Freya's not home. Go. Maybe Dirk's home? Nope. Everybody's enjoying their Saturday. <laughs> Hello there, Ray. Are you eating well? Well, I mean, I had cake as my only meal today, so probably not, actually. Um, I was thinking that it would be kind of cool if you could fail in a ranch story game. You know, like, uh, um, you would have a daily expense, you know, you'd have food that you'd have to pay for, maybe some property taxes or something, right? And, um, well, if you can't meet that, then you fail. And maybe there gets to be a point where it's like, yeah, failing is basically impossible. 
but it would still be kind of nice to have, like, your expenses for the day figured. You know, like in Friends of Mineral Town, you eat something every morning, and it's like, well, where did that come from? It came from magic. I don't know. But those are my personal preferences. Maybe someday someone will make a mod that has that. Oh, yeah, no, in the original game you could fail. Well, not in that way. Um, it was that there was, like, you had a year to do stuff, and you got various different endings depending on what you did. And actually, the speedrun of the original Harvest Moon game uses a trick, uses a glitch to just skip ahead. It's either a year or two years. To skip ahead to the bad end. That's the any percent speedrun of the original Harvest Moon. <gasps> that That's our 25th gold of the file. <laughs> Is Will here? <laughs> so yeah, I had to go back. The last time we got gold, um, aside from last episode, was the first was the first episode of, of Autumn. And so we went nearly two months without gold, and now two episodes in a row, we, we got it again. If it's the luckiest file, how come I'm not getting anything from these ore stones? Hmm? Hmm? I don't know, 25, 25 gold by the end of year two, I think that's that's pretty decent. But not anything spectacular. I mean, it's probably on the uh, on the above average end of things, but yeah, I don't think it's like absolutely spectacular. What was absolutely spectacular is when we got the gold, right at the start, when it's it's absolute when it's most important to get it. Yeah. By the way, uh, I guess while we're going to get the to to make the necklace, I should mention that I was actually incorrect in my assessment as to what the best item to make is. Although I think if I would have started a necklace, we wouldn't be able to sell it at this week's bazaar. But it turns out, so. All of the brooches, except for the pink brooch, are worth less than any of the bracelets. And all of the bracelets are worth less than any of the necklaces. The black necklace is worth the most, and then then. But um, the pink brooch is the sole exception. It's the one that's worth the most. It's the, the um, jewelry item that's worth the most. But other than that, if you don't have a pink diamond, then the best thing to go for is a necklace, because those are worth the most. And then you go for the bracelets, and then you go for the brooches. So, even though the green bracelet has an emerald, which I guess maybe it's not worth as much as an amethyst or a sand rose. Seems weird to me, but okay. Um, but yeah, even though uh, it's got an emerald in it, it's not worth as much as a blue or purple necklace. Blue and purple necklaces are worth the same amount. So, anyway. Just wanted to get that out of the way. But maybe something like a hardcore mode, where you do have expenses every day. Where you have, like, uh, um, you have food expenses and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And, I don't know. I just kind of, I just kind of like games like that, where you can do that. Maybe someone will make a mod for Friends of Mineral Town. For the, for the remake that adds, like, food expenses every day or some such. Like, maybe you could even adjust it, too. That would actually be really cool. Or you could use, uh, um, something for... You, you know, you could use the food that you have to make food. All the, just all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, well, I guess a hunger bar. Actually, wait! A hunger bar, that... Sunshine Islands had that, didn't they? Although, did that... I can't remember exactly how the, sun the Sunshine Islands hunger bar thing worked. But yeah, just like having a hunger bar, you know? I know a lot of people were really upset when that got added to Minecraft, but that was like my favorite edition. I'm one of those guys that plays with the basic needs mods installed with Skyrim. 
Not because I like the bonuses it gives my characters, but because I like, you know, having to deal with that. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like it if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and to let me know any thoughts you have down below. I especially appreciate that last one, but all of them really do help me out, and they help my videos show up in your inbox more consistently, so do not forget. And then, let's show what we're getting for this jewelry. 57,600 for a green bracelet. 43,200 for this one light blue brooch. So these two combined, it's over 100,000. And then for these five light blue brooches, 48,000 each. So that's 300... 40,000 G just from the jewelry. Yarn, honey, sea urchins, milk. And already we're very close to meeting the goal. And we've met it. Already. How about that? Milk, eggs. Ah, uh, the life of a jewel crafter. We ain't going back to farming. Man, thank goodness it's winter and we've got all those ore stones that we can break open, right? Hey, you there. Could you give me the sea urchin? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you. I'm actually a secret critic. Just getting. I just like getting stuff for free. Thanks. That basically describes most of my customer base, so... I mean... Okay. And now we are guaranteed a first place spot. Sorry, 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 sorry. You're not my only customers, you know. Oh, you look just like my grandchild. Could we talk for a bit? Sure. Just buy my scrap metal so I don't have to waste time selling it at the end. Because nobody wants it. Ah, that was a nice chat. To show my things, I'll buy all of your scrap metal. Well, I mean, all of my scrap metal of that particular quality. And there it is. All of our jewelry sold, and we're at 369,000 profit for this bazaar. So, um, yeah, it's, it's fair to say that we'll be number one in sales. Uh, just putting that out there. Now, the other thing about that is that we are going to want to save a good amount of it for jerseys and Suffolks and Silkies from the next bazaar. Um, excuse me, do you know where the seat stand is? It's on the lower side. Oh, I see. Thank you. We're also doing pretty good with reputation. Four hundred thousand G in the in our pockets. Oh, that's that's nutty. But like I said, we're gonna want to save quite a lot of it for jerseys and Suffolks and Silkies. Not really sure how much that's gonna cost. I haven't calculated it out. Um, I think I think those are cost like twice what the normal animals cost. So like Silkies cost twice what regular chickens do and whatnot. So, just from that, that would be 70,000 for the chickens that we need. Um, let's see, 80,000 for the sheep, and then 60,000 for the cows. So it would probably be about 210,000 if we could buy them all in one week, which we can't. And assuming that my memory is correct on that, and that they're twice as much, which I'm iffy on my memory of that. So... We're not going to worry too much about that. But we are going to want to save maybe 100,000. 100,000, 150,000, somewhere around there. And keep in mind, we'll also be selling stuff at next week's bazaar. We just won't be selling nearly as much. Hey, did someone named Lucy come by here earlier? Crying by the animal shop? Oh, she was crying? Honestly, what would she do without me? Well, I'll head over to the animal shop then.
How are things going, right? Busy, you wanna help out? I'm working hard, I wanna go home. I'm working hard. Great to hear. Keep it up. Keep at it. Whoops. No, I, I meant... I'm sorry. I meant to press the other button. I, I meant to press the button for the sails and not for the bell. But don't you accidentally not press the bell icon. The bell button. Whatever. Listen. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, okay? It's quite cold out today. Isn't it pretty tough to work in the winter bazaar? I like winter. I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> Can't it be spring already? I like winter. I see. I like the winter bazaar too. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure we have definitely hit the reputation goal. So, first in sales and in reputation this week. Which is that our first time with the 25% or with the 75% bazaar doing that? So, so far, 394,000 G. Well, 100. 394,100. And Lloyd is not selling any gold. Because why would he be? Oi, oi, oi. Ozzy, ozzy, ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. We're just gonna get a whole bunch of copper then. Maybe 25. And we'll just have enough copper for forever. Alright. Welcome to the Super Lucky Lotto. So we have enough for six plays, I believe of the super lucky lotto, all with bronze coins. Okay then, let's see just how lucky you are. First place prize. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's nice. Oh, I think we'll have something else to be selling at next week's bazaar. All right. Fifth place. That's much better than scrap metal. We'll be able to make another uh, um, a light blue brooch with that. And we're actually probably going to need some mithril now. Just to have on hand, just in case. Okay, there's the scrap metal. I think we've won the first place prize once before. We of course haven't won the grand prize at all, because as you can see with our stamina meter, once it shows up, there's it's not gonna it's not any different from the start of the game. And I would not give away the magic water. We're gonna be drinking that. If we ever manage to get it. But honestly, it's not seeming like that. Not seeming like we're ever going to be getting that, uh, that magic water. And so, three scrap metals in a row. But, I mean, we got a ping time in this time around, so that's, uh, that's quite a good one. Third place prize. Okay, nice. That's an emerald. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up a few pieces of mithril just to be on the safe side. It always looks like I've betrayed him by not buying everything that he has in stock. Welcome to Lucky Lot. Care to play? One ticket. Okay, let's see. Let's see how lucky you are right now. Fourth place prize, an ore stone. Ooh. You know what? We're gonna break that open right now. Go! And copper. I mean, it's better than scrap metal, so. Third place prize, honey. Not bad. I mean, the copper essentially pays for the take all the these tickets by itself because that now we don't have to go and buy the copper from Lloyd for 1400 right, so two one ore stone which was copper and three honeys in a row <laughs> nice last one fourth place prize an egg oh that was not actually a bad experience with the Lucky Lotto. 
Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune read? It's just 100 G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra. What fate lies in wait for you? Your lucky color is blue. You will discover something new about yourself. So, did that enlighten you at all? Feel free to come back anytime. <laughs> what is it, honey? This herb salad is my favorite. I'm really touched that you remembered, honey. Well, you know, figured you'd, you'd like something for your lunch break. Alright, let's get all this stuff sold. We're not gonna sell the copper that we won at the, uh, at the Lucky Lotto. And we aren't gonna sell any of these gems because they can be turned into jewelry for a much better profit. But, this stuff we can sell. Honey! Eggs! Scrap metal! Actually, it's not eggs, it's egg. Literally one egg. This is- oh. Yeah, but this is how it always is, is that the scrap metal is the last to go. Didn't quite reach 400,000, but that's fine. We really don't need it, do we? We're just gonna have some corn soup. Or not. Uh, hold on. No, I wanted to buy lots of corn soup. And that way we can give it to Nelly. 20. You can give that to Nelly every day. And I think Cafe Ole, we don't have any of that. I don't have, uh, kind of surprising to find a recipe that we don't have at the end of winter. Maroka. Hmm. We've already tried the, uh, the miso soup. We've already tried giving that to people. We've already tried giving people cheese dumplings and raclettes and all this kind of stuff. Does Amir like corn soup? Because we might do that. Hmm? Ah, it's you. Please don't overwork yourself, Ray. Sorry, I don't like this. Oh. I couldn't remember. Now I'll try to remember. Alright, I guess we just need to stop at Isaac's info stall. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Well, this is just a rumor, really. It's said that dogs are man's best friend. In addition to humans, though, dogs also like cows and sheep. Do you have any dogs on your farm, Ray? They can help you take care of any cows and sheep you have. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. As a matter of fact, I have four dogs, and yes, they are quite helpful. Alright, let's... Let's drink this cafe au lait and then uh, head out. Mmm, delicious. And you know what? While we're at it, might as well give Marion some mint. Wow, this is such a great gift. It's a keeper, thanks. So remember, this pink brooch, this is the most valuable item that you can make in the manufacturing windmill. See how long it's gonna take. 120 hours. Wait, so it's actually it actually takes less time than the light blue brooch. That's crazy. Yeah, at a half star, the pink brooch is is worth like 64,000 or something like that. It's incredible. And uh, every half star, it increases its value by a lot. Oh, I forgot to invent uh, in the figurines. In my figurines, the whole uh, 210,000, I forgot to figure the cost of the additional feed bin. Because you might have noticed this thing right here, it only holds 10, or it only holds two pieces of fodder, which is enough to feed 10 cows and sheep. So, uh, what happens is that once we try and get the 11th cow or sheep, then. Uh, Enrique will say, hey, hold on, your barn can only hold 10 animals without another feed bin. 
and then he'll sell you the feed bin. I think it's 20,000. Mary, please at least take my vest, okay? Take my vest, take my gloves. Please, I swear. <gasps> the pineapples, finally. That's the first harvest. We need three harvests of pineapples before we can switch over to the autumn crops. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre result! Our top three earners in third place with 126,000 G! Joan, congratulations! In second place with 164,000! <laughs> He smashed it. Oh, we could have gotten Cafe Ole to try give in to people. I didn't even think about that. And in first place with 396,560G! Ray, congratulations! Wow, Ray. You're number one. Re, I knew you could do it. I got his voice so wrong. I'm sorry. And the person with the happiest customers was... Ray! Customers tell me that they like your products and will come shop again! Nice. Is that actually going to happen? Am I going to get regulars? Probably not. You rolled on the down proud. Keep up the good work! Hmm? You're in the top three, and you have the best reputation! Fantastic! I'm awarding you this prize for your efforts of fruit yogurt! Fruit yogurt is very expensive. It requires an orange, a pineapple, and a banana, I think, in addition to the milk and the mint. For our goal to be the best bazaar in the world, we are now almost halfway! We can do this! We've just got to keep it up! Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 to 200,000 G! We can do it! Well, that's all for now! Start getting ready for the next bazaar! Alright. Well, like I said, we smashed for in first place. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious me. And five star from the five star eggs from the Lati twins. Nice, so now we'll only have eggs taking up two slots in our storage. Like, that's the main thing, that's the main advantage right now to, to increasing the star quality of our eggs, is just decreasing the numbers of slots it takes up in storage. Because, frankly, we, we've got plenty enough money that, I mean, the the star quality difference, the, the money, the extra money that you get from higher star quality eggs is just not that much. Now let's see, that's right. I wanted to try giving Amir milk. That's pretty nice. You're giving it to me? Uh, th thanks. Okay, so I guess we're giving Amir milk every day. We're giving Amir milk every day. We're giving uh, Wilbur and Felix cheese every day. And so that's three of our milks going to gifts. Three out of five. Well, that was quite the bizarre we had this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I will see you later. Bye.